Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of an Isaac character showcase. Today we're checking out the Rigman. This is a very interesting character all to do with rigging Isaac of course. We start with the rig dice here and this is a dice that has a one third chance to either delete duplicate or reroll items we also have some interesting stuff going on with our secret rooms apparently although it doesn't actually specify what that is so we're gonna have to go into our secret room we do start with the um the the match as our trinket so we will be getting more bombs on room clear i'm guessing that's just to give us some guaranteed access to secret rooms when they come along I'm very interested to see what we see here. I am also using the God Mode mod, which is a mod that's currently in beta. It's not fully released. It's unlisted on the Steam Workshop, but I got some suggestions to try it out. And it, it's it's an older Isaac mod that's been updated for Repentance and adds a bunch of new items, some new floor variations, some new bosses, some new enemies. It's just a really big mod. So I'm excited to see um, what we can get out of that. We do have a giant pot here, which is kind of interesting. Hopefully we find our secret room earlier than later. I mean, we need to find a bomb first so that we can... Um... Ah, there's a bomb. So that we can actually re-roll some stuff. Um... It seems likely that it'd be right here. Uh, so I'm going to try that out. I know I've only got one bomb right now, but I want to find the secret room as early as possible. So I think going for this is good enough. And yeah, we okay, we got an item out of that. That's nice. So we can re-roll in there and it duplicated it. Okay. Okay, so things are starting out. Things are starting out. We did get two big rooms here, which should guarantee us another charge as well. So what we could end up doing here is just duplicating that another time. But I'm hoping, obviously, now that we've duplicated it, rather than deleting it next, we do get to have a reroll going on and reroll into some other stuff. That would be the ideal outcome here, wouldn't it? Um, but we'll see what we end up getting. Now, this character does have a downside with the rigging potential that you start off with here. You do, unfortunately... Oh, my God, I'm hit so much. You do, unfortunately, miss out on the uh, boss items. You get no boss items whatsoever. What's what's going on with this, uh, this mulligan here? How come the spiders are so attracted to it? Is that a new thing? I've never seen that before. Okay. A little difficult, but not too bad. Got hit a bit more than I'd like to get hit. Um, and we get Monstrous Lung, and there's also Soy Milk in here, interestingly enough. This is a bit of a weird room here. Wow. Okay, well, we can buy Soy Milk now. And I think I will, because funny. Wow, this was an unexpected room. Alright, then there's also a battery here. Awesome. Interesting. We did reroll, and Bingy is obviously a great one. We also get this here. A plus one soul heart gain, a heart container at the start of every floor. I mean, that's pretty darn good. I think we'll take that. I mean, Bingy are obviously as amazing for us here. Can we can we get a health upgrade out of this? I suppose a heart container at the start of every floor means actually nothing, considering we've got Bingy. So that was maybe a bad take. A bad grab. But yeah, <laughs> Monstrous Lung Soy Milk is not something I've had in a while. With our low, low damage right now, it's not exactly the strongest of uh, of combinations. It might be the laggiest, though. <laughs> but a lot of shots. I really need a mod that just turns off the splash effect of tears, like when they hit the floor. Um, especially like in situations like this because i think that's what causes the main amount of lag if you could just get rid of the splash effects it would probably not lag either way got that room done oh that's not a bomb that we can use right, let's go and ch check out our shop here good job we got the ability to keep these guys off of us unfortunately even though we can keep them off of us we can't kill them very quickly I'm hoping we get some item that uh, allows us to do a bit more damage but more smoothly. Because at the minute, unless we are barrel stuffing enemies, we're not doing an awful lot of damage, are we? <laughs> but it's an interesting combination nonetheless. I mean, I like the idea of the rig potential plus this. It seems like it's going to lead to some weird stuff. Oh, that was unfortunate. Um, so this is the little birdie from, from the God Mode mod. I will be taking that, thank you. Um, but what you saw on the door there, there was like a sort of like thing on top of the door that says something from god mode as well basically rooms have like a five percent chance you can set the chance yourself but i think i said it's a five percent uh they have a small chance to have effects on them and one of them is a negative effect that decharges your active item or you like lose some of your charge the so not the most ideal for us there there's him dead as i said no boss item 
We do have a curse going down to this floor as well. What curse is that? That is curse of the something. Okay, no curse. Weird. Okay, that's maybe a little bit bugged then. Um, our damage is slowly going down. I kind of forgot we'd be getting good damage off of the back of um, off of the back of Binge Eater, giving us temporary damage. I don't actually need to kill these pigs, do I? But I did it anyways. Right, secret room again. We're gonna be looking for pretty hard. One second. Okay, let's go. Right, okay, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, I wanted to find the secret room pretty quick here. It could be in between these two rooms here, but I don't exactly know where the, the in-between is. In between the cash room and the sack room here. Oh man, this is, uh... These large rooms are a little hectic right now. Yeah, basically, I, I just, what I'd like it to be is, if, you're, if your tier rate is over a certain level, or if your tier count is over a certain level, it just stops the splash effect when the tier hits the floor. I think that would alleviate a ton of random lag. And honestly, the lag isn't like really bad here or anything. It's not awful. It's just noticeable. At least for me. It might not be for you guys. Also, large rooms are always a little laggy anyways. Okay, did get some extra bombs there, so I'll check this out. Not, unfortunately extra bombs there though. Okay. Where art thou, secret room? We need you. I do like barrel stuffing with this though. These guys don't deal contact damage anyways, do they? Uh, apparently they do. Or did, did he just spew a spider onto me at the right time? Get back. Ooh. Oh, what? That didn't give us any damage. Are you kidding? I thought this was going to give us a flat 0 0.5 damage up. That would have been wild. I don't think it gave us any damage by the looks of it. Didn't on the snap bar, at least. Okay, where the hell is secret room at? Where art thou, you secret room? It's annoying, because like the later we find a secret room, the less chance we have to rig, because the less charges we're going to get access to. Which is just sad. Extra key there's rather nice. Um, what, what devil's food? Plus two black hearts, plus one damage. Yes, please. Bye bye. Um, here yeah, maybe? The second secret room? There we go. The second secret room have an item? It doesn't. But it did give us a heart that I don't recognize. Is that just a heart container? Okay. That's not bad. You two. Okay, our damage is very high right now. My goodness. You know I gotta do it. You know I gotta do it. Really? Unfortunately, got the worst possible enemy there for, for this setup. But you know I had to do it. Where the hell is the secret room on this floor? Very, very confusing as to where it could be. Gotta be below the starting room then, right? The only place I could think it could be. Which is annoying because I could have bombed that straight away. <laughs> it's not! What? Where the hell is it then? Is it here? But I don't I don't know where the door is though. The indicator for, like, how far away it is from the side is, like, here, maybe? I don't know. I don't know where it is. I am not sure where it is, this floor. Just a minute. I'm going to give myself the map. Give myself a blue map. I just need to see where it is to confirm to myself. Okay, it's not anywhere where it should have been. Fair. It's not anywhere where it should have been. <laughs> I'm just going to leave this floor because I'm not going to cheese that and grab that secret room. Considering I cheesed my way of finding it out. Oh, new boss. Nice. We got one of the boss butch guys. Oh, Lord. Yeah. <laughs> I got hit twice by that. Are you kidding? How dare you? We got him pretty quick though. Even if we did take some bad damage. 
Ooh. Yes, baby. That's what I was hoping for. Okay. I will take the, uh, the succubus, but I think otherwise I'll be taking all of this health. Thank you. There you go. Okay. We'll take that, I guess, for later on. But that puts us in a good spot. And we did get ourselves a succubus as well, which I think is pretty nice. Have him along for the ride. Okay. Only got one bomb right now. But yes, I like it. No boss items, but the rig potential is there. And we are getting lucky with it so far. We have had two duplications and a reroll thus far, which I think is pretty good going. Tiny Planet is actually working out really well for us here. I think Monstro's Long plus Tiny Planet is a combination that has been improved by uh, by some mod that I'm using. Normally this combination don't really work, from what I remember. There's a key back there. I can kind of barrel stuff enemies as well, get really up close to them. Ipecac? Oh, you know I gotta do it, don't you? You know I gotta do it. <laughs> it's awful. Oh, you know I had to do it, baby. You know I had to do it. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh, I will re- Oh, yes. The duplications are going so well right now. Unfortunately, we cannot get over to those lovely little items there. Oh, man. <laughs> this has gotten... This has taken a turn that I did not expect. There was a tinted rock back over here. I'm going to go grab that real quick. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, at least finding secret rooms should be a little easier for us now. I hope. Or maybe not. I don't really know where I ought to be firing to find the secret rooms, to be honest. Oh, what the hell is this run? Yeah, I'm going to be hitting myself a lot. I'm glad, very, very glad I have Binge Eater. I'll say that. It's not there, okay. There's some interesting food items here. Uh, dragon fruit, I'm guessing dragon fruit is... Um... Oh, there's a new enemy look. I'm guessing dragon fruit is from uh, our new mod, God Mode. Some new bats here as well. What, what exactly is this here? Um, prevents two damage projectiles. Spawned by, spawned by Call of the Void. Regenerates one use lost per floor. If held and enter a new floor while Call of the Void is active. I don't know what Call of the Void is. So. Heals. Oh, I can't pause my thingy now. Heals half a heart. Gives a random medium buff that lasts five minutes. Okay, we'll just take the seed bag, I think. Thank you. Secret room here, maybe? There you go. Okay. Binji is like the best item you can get as this character, right? Quickly check in here. Some more food. We'll take it, obviously. I like the little bird. My god, how, how am I not hitting myself more is the question. Unfortunately, we deleted that item. That's our first deletion. That we've had thus far. If it were for Binge Eater, we'd def I'd definitely say we're probably going to die on this run. But I think Binge Eater gives us a chance. Although we'd very much like something that's going to prevent some explosive damage. Ooh, that, uh, that hill was glistening. Back there. Why is this pill glistening? Ooh, it's a full health. 
I'm not sure what that's to, to do with. That's definitely God mode as well. I've messed with the God mode settings quite a bit. Ooh. Okay, it's like a hidden pill. I see. Uh, I've messed with the God mode settings quite a bit in like lower chances of things, disabled some things. There's like one thing where in hard mode, enemies health scales, which I think is mm, interesting, but not something I want on at the moment. Um, I'm not looking for the game to be that much harder. And then there's also like a... Uh, thing where after a certain amount of time, like an entity starts following you if you take too long on a floor. Okay. Right. Down we go. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to grab food on occasion, if not for the stats for the, for the HP and healing that it's going to give us. Yeah, so basically we got to fire and then kind of let it do its thing. So here we'll definitely be taking the HP, thank you. And that puts us nearly to full. I'll check this out just in case anything item-wise. Takes away half of your coins rounded down. Enemies will drop random coins and pick up. Ooh, that's kind of pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Head on back. Head on back. And then pop that. It'll be a little hard to grab all the coins. I've already almost made up all of them though. <laughs> the damage I'm taking is stupid. I might survive, I might not. Who knows? <laughs> not the best of ideas to play that guy, I don't think. Or that guy either. Um, secret room, have we have we seen a secret room location yet? I mean, it could be here, right? That seems pretty likely. But I don't know how we would have missed that wall, to be honest. Yeah, not there. Darn. Get away from me. How is that not secret room? Where is the secret room at? It's wild how, like, both easy and hard it is to hit myself. Okay. Still no secret room. I'm probably going to die on this run just due to this madness. I need enemies to not chase me. That would G give me give me too spooky. Too spooky would help a lot right now. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Yeah, how the fuck am I meant to do this? That room's evil. Don't actually know how I made it out of it. Uh, B B's dead body there. Where is the secret room? Like, actually, where could it be? I've blown up every wall everywhere. Should have found it by now, right? Why am I not blowing the top off of this guy? What the hell? There we go, we got a secret room. My goodness, please have health in it. Yes, it did. Oh, it immediately got hit again. Okay. Angel food. Plus one golden heart. Ooh, that's, that seems pretty good. And that should heal us as well, right? Okay, just give me the golden heart. Okay. Secret disc. Um, to what? I don't know what the deal was there. I don't know what I traded for that. Thank you. Is the heal enough? Oh my god. Sometimes I take no damage. Other times it's instant. That's very nice. We're somehow keeping ourselves going here and it's... 
the way how is, is kind of unknown to all of science. <laughs> Two golden pennies? Holy shit. And a sack somehow as well. I don't really know where the sack came from, but thank you. At least we're getting health in the regular here. And I have a thingy right now. Damn it, not the one I wanted. Damn it, it also deleted it. Gosh darn it, game. Okay. Yeah, a glitch crown no longer pause. Like you can no longer pause rotating items. The glitch crown's nowhere near as good as it used to be. It's still very good, but it's it's it works a little more the way it was intended by the developers now. The carrot, randomly reveal either secret room. Oh yes. Randomly revealing map components works for me. Right. Out we go. That's so what I mean about, like, the, the healing we've been getting. Like, look at our health still somehow. It's kind of bizarre. It's as high as it is. Once we get to the womb, however, once we get to the womb, there's less items for us to grab and we take full heart damage. I think we're pretty much done for at that point in the game. We opened the mines. We shall go to the mines. <laughs> Why not? If we open it, we shall go there. We get to see our secret rooms now from the carrot. Lovely. Good. Ton of money again. Quickly do another room before I go into my secret room so I can reroll. We don't need health at the minute so I can reroll to whatever. What on earth is that? Oh, it's a thingy item. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> I still took the HP. My bad. Secret disc. This rig potential has just turned into insane binge eater run. <laughs> Get out of here, you guys. How is this room not over? What's going on? Please die. There you go. My god, that room was a nightmare. An actual nightmare. Oh god, our speed is getting low now as well. Kind of forget the binge eater affects your speed so poorly. Okay, we got plenty of items to take a look at in here. Damn. Damn. What does the black mushroom do? One time use full health, three soul hearts, minus one heart, reroll current floor after leaving. Reroll current floor after leaving the room it was used in. Interesting. I don't, know re I don't know how reroll floor actually would work. Also, what's what's this? Is Diplopia? It is. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna reroll all of these. And we get ourselves Potato, which gave us a charge. PB and J. Devil's food. And this, which we can. Reroll. Ah, it disappeared. We got some good stuff though. I'll, I'll buy the battery as we leave. This little parrot is, is cute, but needs to shut up. Needs to shut his damn trap. Come on, dude, you gotta die. <laughs> There's so many explosions, please. Unfortunately, upping our range doesn't help, anyways, either. It's not like we can get the. Uh, the, the rotating circle would be further away from us. Ah, that disappeared too. The rigging potential's letting us down, boys. Ooh, there's a new enemy. Cool. I like him. And then we've got... Raw Soylent, which is a replacement for Soy Milk.
Not so sure how to feel about that. We got a lot more damage, I'll say that for sure. But now whenever we fire, we also fire a ton of tiny tears as well. Which is seemingly safer, at least. It's seemingly safer, so I'll take it. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty well for us thus far in terms of not instantly dying. So I may have somewhat saved myself. Got the HP again. HP ain't bad though. Yeah, it looks up to a ridiculous level now. Don't need to be going through there. I can actually charge up before a room now as well. Yeah, definitely blow those guys up. <laughs> okay, down we go. Yeah, interesting that we flipped over soy milk to something different. Go for our secret room first, thank you. <laughs> I don't know how we're still alive. We duped it, okay. We'll be trying to dupe that again. Chill out, you heads. It's the speed at which they rotate around me that I think's funny. Like, they absolutely zoom. Look at it. They're crazy. Need some few, few more charges. Really survived all of that? Wow. Crack that open again. About the keys for that, really, do we? Two more little rooms and we can try and duplicate again. You know that they're gonna disappear, don't you? But you gotta hurt. You gotta hurt. More range. Thank you for the extra range. We're up to 20 now. A little insane. It did re-roll them. Okay, what we got going on here? We got karma levels. All stats up when entering a new floor. That seems pretty goddamn good. And we'll take the fruit salad, I think. For the healing. Oop, and there's a bunch of fruit. It gives a bunch of different random stat effects. Nice. Okay, cool. I like it. Fruit seems to be uh, something from God Mode as well, by the looks of it. We're back to being healthy again. Oh god, the bouncy mushroom. Oh really? Don't create one of those guys, please. I need health so bad. <laughs> Second secret room. I was just about to say it could give us health, and it did. My goodness, our saviour. <laughs> Holy, I was not expecting to be saved there. Second secret room, you are the best. Cool. Right. Boss is over that way. Thank god I came back for the second secret room. I was planning on just going straight for the boss, but... I like this karmic item, whatever it's called. Which will give us stats every floor. That seems pretty darn useful. Beautiful. Oh, wait. We don't even get Polaroid or negative. Hmm. I, 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 that's got to be a mistake. I would, I would very much imagine that that isn't intended. But these are the floors in which we die. 
There's a lot of stats from Karmic Dice, nice. Either way, I can somehow still walk through the doors while all that's going on and it's... I don't just get instantly blasted. Like I expect to. Oh my god. I can go back to the secret room here. I keep firing and not meaning to. Because the way the tears move with us, it kind of works somehow. Rig me, baby, one more time. Hey, we got the duplication again, baby. We can work with a duplication. We just gotta stand very, very still until everything comes to a stop, and then we can carry back on again. We've managed to keep our speed relatively high considering the binge eater shenanigans. Ooh, I do not know what room that is. That is a new room to me. What is that? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna bomb it. I'm gonna bomb it some more. Okay, clearly I, I there's a prerequisite I'm supposed to have for this, maybe. But it's like a purple planetarium room. Interesting. Like the idea. When I walk in rooms now, I fire like an explosive projectile. I'm not quite sure what's causing that. Oh, it's just like my little buddy there that's for some reason gained Ipecac. I didn't realize he'd adopt my tier effects. Unless he is just an Ipecac buddy anyways, and he normally would be Ipecac even if I don't have it. It's also plausible. Ah, uh, yeah, I needed that health so badly. I should have just taken it. The rig potential. It was too tempting. Unfortunately, we went all the wrong ways here. But as you can see, health dwindling very quickly. Probably ain't gonna last the longest. Sorry for killing you so quick. We did get some health though here. A little bit of healing, a little bit of stats helps. Oh, my goodness. This is sketchy. <laughs> what a crazy, crazy run. It seems when I change directions of which way I'm firing is when I take damage the most. A lot better to stay firing in one direction. Okay. This has paid off before. Second secret room. Save us once again. Damn you. Planetarium treasure disc. Okay. I did get healed a lot there for some reason. I'm gonna wait for all these tears to, to dissipate. And then I'm gonna... But... Boom. Take at least one of these hearts. The other one is a bit out of my league. Hello. Goodbye. I was going to say, please give us a health. Oh, dude. We got saved because of the planetarium disc. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, I definitely want Kapala here. Kapala's real good. We'll take Kapala. I'm going to try the... Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. And now I just go... Boom. 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 Take all the food items. Which I don't... I think some of these food items don't actually work with Binge Eater properly, but... Hey, her. Right. Cool. That, that worked out better than I could have expected. Soul just absolutely saved our bacon in a major, major way. And we got a bunch of extra stats. And on top of that, we got um, Kapala, which means all enemies of the same type will take damage at the same time, which should mean certain rooms get cleared a lot faster. 
like that. It also means we won't have to like walk around rooms as much, which is useful. Got taken care of. Oh, damn it. Every chest that doesn't have hearts in it, I'm like, no. Why? I'm liking the carrot giving us random mapping every time though. I, I, I like it as well because like the, the whole myth of like carrots help you see better in the dark thing, it's a uh, it's cool. The lie Isaac was told and he still believes, and therefore it's an item that makes sense. I like it. Good theming. Can this guy stop, please? Still gonna die very quickly here, aren't we? But Dude! Sometimes I feel like I'm, like, a decent distance from the explosion and I still get hit by it, but... Hey, her. What can I do? The chests are what are going to save us, but they're just none of us, none of them are giving us hearts right now. We need hearts or items that'll turn into binge eater items. We just ain't getting that. Look at that. Just all money. I just don't need it. The health ain't dropping, boys. Oh, really? A half heart? That's gonna help. Oh, there's a re regular heart there that I missed out on. My bad. Let me quickly go back and get that. Thank you. We made it much further than I thought, and considering we don't have Polaroid, we're, we were just gonna be fighting the um, Isaac boss here. So there's, there's a chance, a very, very small chance, we, we make out of this, which would surprise me. In fact, so much so that what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and circumnavigate a few harder rooms. Unfortunately, this room is boxed. Damn it. Got a soul heart there and we can't even grab it. Okay. They're very still. Go. Excuse me? What? What's going on with this guy? Why can't I kill him? I don't understand this room. How do I kill this guy? There you go, that was tough. This should be the boss. Yes, it is, good. Whoa, I don't know what enemy that is. That's new. Got a lot of health. And apparently it's not required for room clear. I'm sure it'll do something terrible to me if I let it. How is that hitting me? This is gonna all sort of come down to my eye frames. There you go, we got him. Somehow, some way, we made it through that alive. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.